In this video, I want to go over a bit of code that's going to make our lives a little bit easier and introduce one new concept, the global. So instead of having this old code right here with a new if statement for every type of role, we're going to combine all that together in this new format. Um, so here we have an object with uh, the keys as the role name and the object as the return of require role.harvester in this case. So role.harvester is returning an object which has the following um, function or parameter. And because of the way this is structured, it's going to return an object that has the run uh, parameter here in uh, main. So now, if we were to um, call run on roles harvester, so if it looked like this, um, so these are the same. What it's doing is it's going to, for every element in memory, it's going to cycle through and check to see if there is a creep. If there isn't a creep in the game creeps hash, it's going to delete the, the current memory to save, save us some uh, processing time related to memory stuff. And then if there is a creep, it's going to go ahead and run the role, fetching the role from creep memory dot role, and then executing whatever uh, run function pertains to that specific role. So in doing this, we can make it a little simpler to um, execute the code and actually eliminate all of those old functions. And having it in this format is sort of cool because with a global, we can access this global um, object from anywhere within our scripts. Um, and because of that, we can now do things like creating a second parameter. So I'm going to go ahead in the next video and create a harvester dot spawn function or should spawn function. And what that's going to do is basically replace uh, this logic here with something that can be called um, in the same format um, and sort of replicate this sort of uh, loop logic in the spawning code for each room. And in doing that, we, we don't have to um, have duplication of code. But I'll see you next time.